Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will see how you can perform housekeeping activities for an online test in VizIQ. So we will log into the platform as an instructor. Once you log in, you will go to the top left menu option and click on tests. Again, you can see the list of tests which we have already published, the tests which are in drafts and the tests which are passed. Whichever test you want to edit, you will click on that particular test and you will find an option of editing it. So you get to see the setting options wherein you can change the title, description, instructions and in case you want to change uh, any basic settings you can do that. For example, let's say I want to have negative marking in this case and the negative marking should be 50%. I do not want to have any time duration for this test. Let's say I want to keep this test as unlimited. In step number two, if I feel that I want to add more questions here, then I can click on add question. And let's say I want to create a fill in the blanks in this case. So this is the first option wherein you can enter the question title. The second field is the option where you will allow the users to fill the blank. And under the validation, you can specify the correct answer choice so that the system can detect that the response which has been entered by the learner is the correct response. Once you are done, you can click on create and you will see that a fill in the blank assessment type has been added as a part of this assessment. Once you are done with adding up of your questions, you can click on next and publish the test again. Once you publish it, you will get a message that the test has been published successfully. If you want to track the report of any particular assessment, you see that you have an option of result. We'll click on this option. Once you click here, then you get to see the total number of students who have given this test. You also get to see the date on which they attempted, the total number of attempts made by them, their percentile and their score. And on the top right, you find an option of downloading a test report. There are two fields in test report. One is the test summary and another one is the test score sheet. Under the test summary, you get to see the course name, the test title, the date on which it was created. In case you have made any changes to the test, it will show you the modification date and it will also show you the day on which you have downloaded the assessment. Similarly, there are a lot of fields which you can track associated with a particular test and on the test score sheet, you get to see the list of all the participants who have given the test. You get to track their email IDs, the country they belong to, total number of attempts made and the total number of questions. And on the extreme right, you get to see how many questions they have attempted. In case they were able to pass the examination, then you will be able to find their passing and failing criteria here. And you can also track section wise reports which means in case you have created multiple sections within a single test then corresponding to every user you can see section wise reporting for all the sections. The passing and the failing criteria will be visible in the test report only if you have defined it while you were adding it within a particular course. In case you have made multiple revisions to a single assessment, then you can also track revision wise reports from here. There's just one option here, which means that uh, you have not made any modifications to this particular assessment. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. I hope that this video will help you in order to edit an existing assessment as well as tracking their respective reports.